One of life's mysteries, week one of the indoor football league season. What to expect from within and from the opposition after a whirlwind training camp. It is the first game of the year. Um, the team that you know doesn't turn the ball over, uh, tries to limit themselves in penalties, uh, is going to give themselves the best chance to win. Very excited to be back in this environment, and I know the fans are too. Again, we're going to be looking good. Shout out to John Deere, one of the big sponsors. So, um, you know, we're all excited. You know, sometimes it's hard to put the words into what we're looking to do, but you know, once those once those lights cut on and we're all suited up and ready to go. We're definitely looking forward to kicking the season off and just capitalizing on what we did last year. Moving on now is one of the key themes for the Steam Wheelers. While that heartbreaking loss in the IFL championship game has been a great offseason motivator, their focus is firmly on Arizona and the season opener Friday night here at Vibrant Arena. Uh, there's no last year. We got to move on. We got to play fast. Uh, we got to start fast. We don't start fast. We got to play fast. Um, we got to finish this game and we got to win, you know, and, uh, and we got to win at home and that's what we want to do. Now we fast forward to a new year and then getting, getting prepared for this, but still understanding where we can go, still uh, understanding who we can be and just enjoying it. Well, one of the big things is creating turnovers. Coach stresses that a lot to the defense, uh, whether it's on special teams or we're on defense, like I said, you got to create those turnovers. Turnovers aren't that big, aren't that common in this league, so when you can get them, you got to make the most of them. So with the defense out there, if we create turnovers, we know EJ and that offense will go out there and turn those into points. One of the keys to getting off to a hot start, the home field advantage. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.